Hello again, it's Rob Salem, your pal at the Toronto Star, and welcome to the world of George R.R. R. Martin, also known as uh, Game of Thrones, and uh, in the broader sense, to those who read The Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, we're here at the exhibit here at the Tiff Bell Lightbox, uh, various artifacts from the show, including this, this very comfy looking throne here. I'm just going to check it out, and we're going to go into the exhibit and uh, check out some of the artifacts. Who knows what we'll be? Ow! 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 Let's just go. One of the many amazing things about working on Game of Thrones is everything is original. Everything has been made specifically mm -hmm. for your world. You know, whether you're in King's Landing or whether you're beyond the wall or whether you're in Winterfell, everything that you, every prop you use has been crafted specifically mm -hmm. for your world. Mm -hmm. And for an actor, and, and I would think particularly the costuming, mm -hmm. I mean, talk about just sort of an aid just to getting into the character and staying in that character. Yeah, they make you stand and move in a different way. And also they have to be functional because I have to throw my leg over a horse and gallop off, you know, so they have to be functional and be durable because they get mucked, you know, in season two. I spend most of it in Rob's camp, which was up to your knees in mud, yeah. you know, so <laughs> these, you know, they, they last, they're durable, hard-working costumes. I can only imagine you're growing up wanting to grow up to be a princess. I don't think this is probably what you had in mind. No, 